The Russian invasion of Ukraine is surely having a profound impact on security architecture in Europe. Several Western nations that have scaled back military expenditure in the last few decades are now feeling the pinch. One such country is the United Kingdom. A Commons Defense Committee report named Aviation Procurement Winging It has highlighted issues with the Royal Air Force. The panel of British MPs has come down heavily on the Ministry of Defense on several aspects. The Commons Defense Committee in the report states air capability gap will persist into the 2030s and leave Britain dangerously exposed. The report states that Britain's combat aircraft fleet is alarmingly low in numbers and would struggle to defend the UK in an all-out war. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how British report exposes the RAF's poor combat readiness. Let's get into the four key issues pointed out in the report. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The report cites the F-35 is a fifth-generation multi-role stealth aircraft capable of conducting air-to-surface, electronic warfare, intelligence gathering, and air-to-air -air missions simultaneously. Notably, the RAF and the Royal Navy operate the F-35B variant, designed for its short takeoff and vertical landing Stovall, capabilities, making it suitable for both land and sea operations. However, despite its capabilities, there has been mounting criticism regarding its procurement. As of May 1, 2023, the UK had only taken delivery of 31 out of the intended 48 F-35Bs from its initial Tranche 1 order. A subsequent order, referred to as Tranche 2, will include an additional 27 aircraft, bringing the total to 74. The report pointedly notes, there remains ambiguity about the plans for the F-35 fleet in terms of its eventual size, operational deployment, and attribution and there are ongoing concerns about program costs and force growth rate. The report highlights concerns raised by MPs regarding the UK's decision to reduce the F-35 order, a departure from the initially envisioned fleet size of 138 as outlined in the 2015 Strategic Defense and Security Review. The report points out that mass alone does not win wars. However, there's a fine balance to be struck between exquisite capability and aircraft numbers. The consensus among experts, including David Deptula, is that a potential conflict would see attrition on scales that we have not witnessed since World War II. The report sent a strong call to the Ministry of Defense MOD, emphasizing the importance of transparency. The MOD must be transparent and realistic about the eventual size of the F-35 fleet and should also make clear whether it's attributed to the Royal Navy or the RAF. The report states the decision to reduce the UK's fleet of Wedgetail E-7 aircraft from 5 to 3 stands out as the most perverse of all the Defense Command papers cuts. The Boeing 737 Airborne Early Warning and Control AEW and C, airframe, known as the E-7, is an air battle space management platform capable of detecting airborne threats, including hostile aircraft and cruise missiles. The E-7 consists of a Boeing 737-700 airframe with the addition of a Northrop Grumman-produced multi-role electronically scanned array MESA, radar. 
This radar, which is fixed, unlike the rotating radio of the E3 Sentry, AWACS, has 360-degree capability with a 200-plus nautical mile range in all weather conditions. The E7 has the capability to oversee and control the battle space, which encompasses the management of incoming cruise missiles, providing a comprehensive and strategic early warning system. As a platform for domain awareness, it facilitates the deployment of advanced fighter aircraft into anti-access and area denial A2AD, regions. The reduction in the numbers of E7, which is a force multiplier, is a very questionable step, and the report has correctly pointed to it. The reports have described recent delays in the flying training program as utterly unacceptable. Prolonged waiting times for pilots to attain qualification have been deemed detrimental to both morale and the operational effectiveness of the armed forces. Notably, the Ministry of Defense is set to allocate over 55 million pounds for dispatching pilots abroad for fast jet training due to a shortage of available aircraft, according to the MP's observations. Furthermore, the reports have criticized the growing dependence on simulators for flying training, labeling it as less than ideal for both pilots and ground crew, and emphasizing that it cannot adequately substitute live flying experiences. The panel of MPs criticized the retirement of the C-130J Hercules transport aircraft fleet seven years before its planned out-of-service date. The C-130 Hercules primarily specializes in tactical airlift operations, focusing on the transportation of troops and equipment for airdrops in potentially hostile regions. Its versatile capabilities allow it to operate from rugged, unpaved airstrips. With its rear loading ramp and door, the C-130 has the capacity to accommodate a wide range of oversized cargo. This includes items like utility helicopters, six-wheeled armored vehicles, standard palletized cargo, and military personnel. In an aerial delivery role, it can airdrop loads weighing up to 42,000 pounds or use its high-flotation landing gear to land and deliver cargo on rough, unpaved runways. The adaptable design of the Hercules allows it to be configured for various mission types, effectively serving multiple roles with a single aircraft. Logistics are critical in a conflict, and hence C-130J Hercules' early retirement is not a very thoughtful decision and has rightly been called out. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.